Welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator 2. In the last episode, I built an RGB gaming PC at a $2,250 budget. I also repaired and upgraded a PC that I bought from Spares and Repairs, and it's up for sale in the front window. So hopefully that'll sell today. If you missed that episode and you want to go back and check it out, I will put a link up in the upper right-hand corner so you can do so. Here is the PC that's up for sale, if you missed it. It's got a Ryzen 7 5800X and an RTX 3070. It's not, a, oops, it's not a bad build. Not a bad build at all. All right. Let's head back in here. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still on the post-apocalyptic <laughs> theme here. I really kind of like it. I keep finding new things that I like about it, so <laughs> it may stick around for a little bit. It is a little dark, uh, so editing takes a little extra work, but I think it's kind of worth it because I kind of like the way it looks. All right. Anyway, enough about that. Let me hop into the email here. Let's see what we've got going on. Let's take a look at this. This says, well, this will be the last email you'll get from Ortan Data Security for a while. We've been forced to shut down. Turns out Bob wasn't getting new clients. He was hacking servers and stealing personal data, then storing it on our hardware. He said he was sick of being treated like a nobody. He decided to bring the whole company down just because I had a cool-looking computer. Can you believe that? I mean, sure, I did tell him that he was just a brainless peon and didn't deserve a better computer, but it's not like I could have saved the company by treating my employees like equals or anything, is it? Oh my, somebody has a little bit to learn about business. Anyway... I guess we'll never know. Thanks for everything, and if you ever need business security advisor, you know who to call. Portia Laperta, entrepreneur at large. Yeah, we will not be calling Portia. <laughs> Let me go ahead and delete that. Let's take a look next at this one. It says, do you work with computers? I could really use some help with my fans. Can you set my fans to eco mode, please? It seems a bit dusty inside. I think 1 HP stickers would look cool on a PC. Can you do that? Cheers, Dorette. All right, so Dorette's got a part budget of zero. We need to set all the fans to eco mode and put some 1 HP stickers on there as well as dust it. 1 HP stickers, huh? We'll have to figure out what those are. I would say we need to look at the PC stats, but uh, there's only two fans and a CPU cooler. Okay. All right, well, let's go ahead and accept that one. That seems like an easy $170. And then let's take a look at this one. It says water cool. It says, I want you to be among the first to know we finally had success with the energy siphon. In our latest test, the freeze ray was able to sustain a beam for almost 10 seconds. An astonishing improvement, but sadly not enough for that potential buyer I mentioned. I don't know how they plan on using the device, but they require sustained bursts of up to 60 seconds. It's almost incomprehensible. Why with that kind of output, there'd be nothing stopping them from, well, it doesn't matter. We'll never reach that level of performance without some major changes to configuration. And that won't be possible unless, of course, a further reduction in ambient temperature could be enough to, no time to explain. I need you to water cool the RAM and the control computer while I make the necessary calculations. We're going to absolute zero. Scientifically yours, a Dr. Fritz Rost. Chill Labs, Inc. All right, so we need to water cool some RAM. We've already had this PC in before where we water cooled the motherboard. And I think, did we water cool? I don't think we water cooled the graphics card. Oh, yeah, we did. Here's the block for it right here. So they want their RAM water cooled. Water cooled RAM seems unnecessary, but if that's what they want and they're willing to pay for it, that's what we'll get. So, let me go ahead and accept this. Go back here to the custom water cooling shop. I can never remember if I need to buy one of these for each stick of RAM, or if I just need one. I mean, you would think technically you would need one for each stick. But, I kind of think, put them on all, I don't remember. It's been a while since I water cooled RAM. We may order four of them just because they're 20 bucks each, and I'd rather have four, or have three that I don't need, than to only get one and need more. So they did have, just to be sure, I just want to double check, I did look, they do have four sticks of RAM. So we definitely want the water block times a four. Come down here, water cool RAM. Let's confirm that. Okay, let's go to the checkout and I'm gonna make 
this for. It's only 80 bucks. It's not like it's a big deal if I don't need them all. Okay, I don't think we need anything else to come in. So I'm going to go ahead and buy that now. That should be here. This is on its way in. This is on its way in. And if we have some time today, we may work on another computer from Spares and Repairs. We've got three out here. Hopefully the one that's up for sale, I did price it a little high. Hopefully it sells when I end the day. If not, we're going to leave it up for sale for a little bit and see if it moves. All right. End day. Oh, I forgot to turn off the lights. Dang it all. All right. It's a new day and all the lights are on. <laughs> all right. Here's all of our parts. Let's work on the fan one first. We need to adjust the fan. You know what? Let's see if we can figure out what the 1 HP stickers are. I was told, if I can't figure them out, that if I turn my tooltips back on, it'll tell me what they are. I was thinking they might be here. All liquid cool. And let's see, was there another one? Another one that has... That's EVGA. 1 HP. I think that's them. It didn't say how many. So let's do a big one on each side. Boom. There we go. Yeah, it didn't say how many. It just said some 1 HP stickers. I think 1 HP stickers would look cool on a PC. All right, so we just need to dust, dust it and set the fans to eco mode. And then I saw we have a bunch of emails, even something from Uncle Tim. Well, let's work on this first. It is a bit dusty. <laughs> it is a bit dusty. Okay, tools, compressed air. Let's get this sucker dusted out. Blow all this dust all into the air in my post-apocalyptic bunker. Where am I missing? There we go. That thing is in the way. I wish it was up here. Or just somewhere else. Over here, under under the objectives would be great. Right in the middle of the case does not work well. It's just in the way. It's just in the way. Okay. I need a USB drive. Let's power this on. We're going to have to put the fan app on. But I do want to hop into their BIOS real quick. You know me. I like to check for XMP. There we go. Go ahead and let the sucker reboot, and then we'll put the fan app on, and we'll adjust all the fans to eco mode. All right, add and remove. So is it just called fan control? That's what it is, fan control. Right there in front of my face. Oh, they've got a hard drive. Look at how slow that's going. If they had an SSD, it'd be done already. <laughs> okay, fan control. So these two I can select together. They want eco mode. Oh, I have to hit apply. Eco apply. I mean, I don't really know why you'd want eco mode. I mean, balance seems reasonable. I mean, that CPU fan is at 500 RPM. Man. Wow. Okay. Okay. That's what they wanted, so that's what they're going to get. Let me get this side panel back on. I think we can be done with this. I think those stickers turned out kind of nice. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go put this out in the hallway. Let's get the one that needs water-cooled RAM. Let's see what we can do about that. All right. Um, we will have to tie into their cooling system. <laughs> they really need a bigger radiator. I mean, if they're, if they're worried about having stuff ice cold, 
that 120 is not going to cut it. All right, let's get this ram out of here. Let me go over to the water cooling bench. Memory. We're going to do this. We've got four sticks. There we go. Get all these thermal pads off. I'm glad there's not more. That's a lot of thermal pads. There we go. Got to get the new thermal pads on. I like how they make different noises. The one coming off sounds like crinkling paper. These just kind of make a thud. <laughs> okay. Why do I already have one? So I guess the real question is, did it use four of those or only one? Huh. Huh. It only used one. It only used one. So even that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Oh my gosh. Why would it only use one when there's four sticks of RAM? I'm going to end up with a lot of those in my inventory as I continue to do these type of jobs. Oh my. Okay. Here's our water-cooled RAM. Let's get that in there. We need to drain this loop. Let's see. Where are we going to tie this in? Let's remove that. So let's go here to here, here to here, and then we'll put some clear coolant back in. White clear, is there other different types of clear? I just want clear clear. Zoom back out. I'll zoom back out. What? Wacky way is this? What? I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm not going to change it. Let's just make sure it boots. What do you bet XMP's been turned off? It sure has. My gosh, why? Do quit turning off my XMP. I send you a computer. You guys use it. You send it back for more work, but you've turned off XMP. It makes no sense. And then this. <laughs> oh, gosh. There's no way any of that PC is cool, let me tell you. I mean, there's not even any vent in the front. I don't even know where the warm air is going. There's a fan there pulling air in from nowhere, and then there's a fan technically on the radiator blowing air out to nowhere. All right. All right. Let's put this here in the delivery area. Let's collect some money. We'll take a look at all this stuff that came in. Rinse due. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Collect money first. Collect money first. Let's check this fan job. Five stars. PC is running a lot quieter now, and I'm really happy. Very nice. All right, we'll pay this in a moment. Let's take a look at this water cooling job. Five stars. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Any PCs? Uh, I don't know. We'll have to take a look. Possibly. We owe 800 bucks. Let's go ahead and pay that. We've received your 800. Hope you enjoyed your month. So it looks like we've got an upgrade, another water cool, and an upgrade. This says, hey, just letting you know I might need you to give my bank a call. Apparently they need someone to confirm I'm not dead. Word of advice, just because you can register your own death doesn't mean you should. Uncle Tim. Oh my. Uncle Tim. Uncle Tim, if you've got the IRS showing up at our door, I'm not going to be a happy man, just so you know. <laughs> All right, let's do this job. 
This is, hey, it's me, Blue Hair Samurai 09. And I'm setting up my very first colorful Chaos Royale fan speedrun channel on VTube. I'm going to need top speed components, so can you please upgrade my CPU? Clean and replace with a new thermal paste. Thank you. I already checked with my dad, and he's going to pay for it. Thanks, and don't forget to check out my channel, Blue Hair Samurai 09. So, they got a part budget of $250. They want an i7 7700K or better. Let's take a look. What do those cost? I don't even know what they cost. Don't even know. 7700K. 180 bucks. I don't think you can do any better. Can you install anything any better than a 7700K in the motherboard? In a Z270? I don't think you can. If you went with a 8th gen, you would need, well, like a 390? I don't remember. It's been that long. It's been that long. Well, we'll get them a 7700K. That's not a problem. Let's go ahead and accept that. Let's go back to the shop. Let's get the 7700K. There we go. Simple enough. I'm going to save this water cooling one for the next episode because, well, it doesn't have a date, so I'm not really worried about it. But we can do this one. It says, hi, I've got the money. Can you make the upgrade? I need some nice, fast storage. A thousand gigs of M.2, please. Can you get that done by 12 28 2022? Don't try and pass off any used parts. I want all new stuff. I think Spiral House stickers would look cool on a PC. Can you do that? Well, I think we can do that. I think we can. Do you already have any kind of NVMe drive? Looks like you've already got an A-Data Spectrix. So does your motherboard have space for another one? Probably. Probably so. Okay, so we're just looking for a one terabyte NVMe drive. Let's go ahead and accept that one. Let's take a look here. Storage. Let's sort by type. M.2. So we could give them maybe something they've already got. What's their budget? $600. $600. I mean, if they've got a $600 budget, I mean, I guess we could give them a little bit more. A little bit more storage than they're looking for, right? I mean, maybe not a four terabyte. What about like a, a two terabyte? I mean, here's one. Here's a PNY for 300 bucks. Sure. Let's give them this. Let's give them more than they need. There we go. Okay. Let's go check out. Next day delivery. That's all good. That's done. That's done. That's on its way. That's on its way. They wanted stickers on this. I think we can make that happen. Okay. Okay. Turn off the lights. We're going to turn off the lights this time. Let's go ahead and end the day. Ah, oh, it's a new day. Let's turn the lights on. Let's see. Here's our stuff. Boop. And which is which? Okay, 7700K or better. What the heck what kind of case is this? Whoa. All right. All right. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Let's get this old CPU out. Goodbye. Let's get their new one in. What am I looking for? I'm looking for CPUs. 7700K. There we go. No, is that sitting in the socket right? Like, I, f I swear I can see pins. I can't zoom in anymore. I swear I can see pins around the edge. Huh. Okay. We're just going to close that up. <laughs> We're just going to close that up and pretend that it doesn't exist. Or at least that we can't see pins. Big old glob of the thermal paste. Let's get their CPU cooler back on. Let's cable it up. There we go. Okay. Let's 
power it on. Let's make sure it works. Let me hop into the BIOS real fast. Oh, you do not need XMP turned on. You're already at 2400 megahertz. Okay. Let's let this liquor boot up and make sure it all works. Come on. There we go. Blue Hair Samurai 09 Speed Runs. <laughs> All right, let me get the side panel put back on here. Was there anything else we needed to do for this one? Don't forget to check out my channel. Okay. Will do. Will do. Let's get this put out here. I grabbed this one. They wanted Spiral House stickers. Whoa! That case is bigger than I expected when I set it down. Got a couple of 2070s in there. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Spiral House. That one's kind of cool. Boom. Did they say how many? I just think Spiral House too. Okay. Um, so maybe we'll do at least another one or two. Let's see. This one needs to be shrunk. We just put it there. I think that's good. I think that's good. And then we just need to upgrade their storage. Get the side panel off. I think we're going to have to pull both of the graphics cards. You know what's funny is I don't think I have these purple cables. I don't know that I want to go buy purple cables. Let's get that opened. And a storage. There we go. All right, let's get their graphics cards back in. Not that, no, no. <laughs> oh, there we go. Cable. Uh, let's see. Is that the type of cables they had? I don't remember. Uh, maybe it was. Uh, that does not look like it. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Let's power this thing on. Let's make sure it works. I do want to hop into the BIOS really fast. And check for XMP. Oh, yeah. They were seriously leaving some performance on the table. They have 4,000 megahertz RAM in there. Okay. Let's make sure this thing boots into the OS. We are booting from a hard drive, even though now they've got two NVMe drives in there. There we go. There we go. Did they want anything other than the stickers? Nope. 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 Where's the side? Good gosh. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that was taken out of that case. Oh, that's the mother... I was like, what is this that's lit up over here? That's the motherboard. Funny thing is, I actually have this motherboard and one of these graphics cards in real life. And it's in my wife's PC. It used to be my PC, and now it's hers. Got a 9900K in there. Yeah. Okay, so... Well, let's go put this out in the hallway. And we're getting a little long on time, but I kind of want to work on the spares and repairs. I also just remembered that I forgot. I just remembered that I forgot. That doesn't make sense, does it? But it kind of does. I just remembered that I forgot to check and see if that one PC sold. Oh, it did. 
It did. The one I kind of overpriced. Yeah, at three grand. Sweet. All right. Well, let's go ahead and collect that. I will take that money. Heck yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, I think this was the one I've got the new motherboard and it's got a broken motherboard and a broken stick of RAM. And I think I bought a new motherboard and a stick of RAM for it. So let's go work on this one and let's work on it out here. I kind of like working out here in the front. Let's see if we can get this done quick. Probably not. What? What the heck? A passive cooler on a 3900X? Are they freaking serious? I don't know if I have a cooler. I don't know if I have another cooler I can put on here. We'll check. I probably ordered some at some point. Okay. We might paint this case, too. We might. Let's see. This needs to go... This RAM is installed stupidly. Who does this? Who does this? Who installs their RAM side by side like that? No. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this one is broken and I did buy another one. So let's go ahead and sell that off. Let's grab the new one because I'm just fine with this particular motherboard being in here. It's actually kind of nice looking motherboard. I know we had a broken stick of RAM, so we won't install that. Uh, here is the CPU that came out of it. I would really like to not put that passive cooler back on. So RAM, yep, we've got a broken one. We can sell it for $0. Let's definitely do that. Let's get new RAM installed. Our one new one and one that was already in there that wasn't broken. Okay. Thermal paste. Get a nice big, 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 big blob. <laughs> All right. I really don't want to use this terrible passive cooler. So, I do have some other air coolers in stock. I do. Got some Arctic Freezer. We've got this one that's got RGB. I bought this one for another job. It ended up not working out. Let's put it in this one. I mean, effective airflow at 28 CFM. How can it even have any CFM? There's no fan on it. It can only have CFM if it has a fan. The only thing maybe blowing air across it would be if there's fans in the case. No. Don't try to tell me it has 28 CFM. Get out of here. Get out of here. Let's use this Endorphy. That's how I'm going to say it. I don't know if that's right. That's how I'm going to say it. The Endorphy Fira 5 ARGB. Yeah, I probably butchered that name really bad. But we're using the cooler, which looks really nice. Oh, we do have at least one front fan. Okay. Okay. We got a hard drive. Do we have any kind of storage? We don't. Mm. Um, it did have... Was this what was in it? The RTX 2080 a Ti Amp Extreme? I'm pretty sure that's what it had. Because all the rest of these are really garbage graphics cards, which I would be happy just to sell off. Well, the 1060 is not bad. 1050 is getting a little old. 1050 Ti... Even that's getting a little old. If you're not up in the 1660, 1660 Ti range, I don't even know how people game. I guess older games, yeah, those would work. Those would work. Let's get this graphics card in here. And then we need to cable it. I wanna open up this side. I wanna make sure we've got no cables. Okay, just that one. Just that one, we're gonna cable it with something, something color. Ugh. These sets of cables I can't get rid of. This got AMD in it. Let's do some red cables. Let's do some red cables. There we go. Okay. Let's get this beauty panel back on. Let's close this side panel. 
Let's power this thing on. Let's make sure it works. Let's make sure it works. I'm going to hop into the BIOS. I want to make sure we don't need to turn on XMP. We did. 3000 megahertz RAM is a little bit slow for Ryzen. 3600 would be much better, but I didn't want to buy a whole new set of RAM for it. Okay. Need a USB drive. And I want to put the lighting app on. We're going to change some lights. Then we might go throw a quick paint job on it. And that's probably all we're going to do to this sucker. We go red. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's close this up. I'm going to power it down. We're going to go back here. We're going to paint this case. We're going to paint this case. We're going to paint it red. Red. I know that sounded like a question. It sort of was. <laughs> it sort of was a question. Uh, let's do that. Nothing I can paint over there. Oh, yeah. I like that. I'm not going to put any stickers on it. Let's take a look at this thing real quick. Let's power it up. I don't know how I feel about the blinking RAM, but the rest of it, I think turned out pretty nice. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm not going to run a 3D Mark test on it because I don't think it does anything. Let's go stick this in the window. Well, let's see. Custom cables. We didn't get anything for custom cables. We did do new cables. Let's name this sucker. Uh, what should we name it? What should we name it? I have no idea. I'm not going to lie. I think it's a little silly that we have to name something to get an extra $50. But I'm not going to name it Buy Me, Please. Even though that is my first inclination. There we go. Mid-range gaming PC. Perfect. Don't have a five-star. Don't have a custom water cooling loop. We're not going to do that yet. Eventually, I will start building just full-on PCs to sell in here for probably, hopefully, lots of money. I think that 1971 is awfully cheap. I think that 25... Oops, that's not 2,500. <laughs> this is a much better price. 73% chance of sale. That's fine. Whatever. Let's sell it. We will check it in the next episode. We'll see if it sold. If it didn't, you know, I mean, I can always adjust the price. You can always adjust the price. All right, let's collect some money, and then we'll end this episode. So here's the one with the i7 7700K or better. Five stars. Very nice. Then here's the other one that we upgraded the storage on. Five stars. Loving all the space after my M.2 upgrade. Everything loads super fast, too, and they used all new parts. Gotta love those warranties. Eh, it wasn't a warranty, but okay. Uh, we'll take your $570 profit, though. We will take that. All right. i9 11900K. Mm. That was not Intel's best series, the 11th gen. <laughs> uh, $666. Ooh. Huh. Mm. The cursed. Is that the cursed <laughs> PC? Then we got some more jobs. We got this stuff down here that we'll deal with all of that in another episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Hit the thumbs up if you liked it, the thumbs down if you didn't, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and ring the bell if you want to get notified as soon as a video goes live. Also, I have a Discord server. If you want to join it and chat with me outside of YouTube, there is a link down in the description. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next episode.